You won't believe what's eating this squirrel. I've got animal expert, Dr. Stephanie Shuttler here to help me figure it out. Showcasing North Carolina's candid critters. From the Museum of Natural Sciences, it's You Won't Believe with Roland Caves. Welcome to the show. Here we highlight the craziest pictures from North Carolina candid critters, a citizen science project where volunteers like you help run cameras across the state. And today, I've got Dr. Stephanie Shuttler here to help me figure out this crazy picture. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you very much for having me on the show. I'm excited to be here. Great. Well, let's check out this picture. What is going on in this, in this photo? Well, here we have a picture of a raccoon actually eating a squirrel. Is that, is that normal? This is not typical. We see raccoons and squirrels frequently in our camera traps. They're our second and third most seen animals, um, but we rarely see raccoons. This is the first time I've ever seen a, a raccoon eating a squirrel. So what do raccoons normally eat? They can eat almost anything. They're omnivores, okay. um, so they do eat meat and plants, um, but they don't really hunt mammals. If they hunt, they hunt things more like crayfish and frogs. Oh, things like in a stream with mm -hmm. their hands fishing around, stuff yep. like that. So how do you think a raccoon would be able to get its paws on a squirrel? Well, raccoons are actually pretty good climbers, and because this picture took place just after sunset, about 7 o'clock at night, maybe the squirrel was going back to its nest and the raccoon acted fast and, and pounced on the squirrel. It's not impossible that they hunt squirrels. It's just rare that it happens. Okay, and do you know um, who ran this camera for the project? This camera trap was run by one of our schools, a oh, teacher cool. and her class at Waynesville Middle School. And so do you think this bloodthirsty raccoon is a threat to the students at the school? No, I don't think the kids have anything to worry about. Most of our camera trap pictures at schools, especially for raccoons, only occur at night. So it's after the kids are away from the school. Okay, but would you expect a raccoon to uh, attack a kid? No, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> we don't have any close calls like that. Okay, so you brought another picture. Let me look at this. This is another very aggressive raccoon. What is going on here? This, I've never seen anything like it before. Again, raccoons and deer are, are frequent animals on our camera trap. And here we have a raccoon that looks like it's chasing a deer. Wow, what do you think is going through the mind of this raccoon? I do not know. It's a very brave raccoon. I don't think a raccoon could ever kill a deer. Do you so think he's trying to hunt them? I, I think actually the raccoon's just, I don't know, acting up. Just, just, just causing commotion in the forest. Why do you think a deer would run away from a raccoon? I think the deer is surprised, too. It's like not taking its chances with the raccoon. Just like some little punk is out there and <laughs> exactly. he would rather run, run away than get in a fight. Exactly. So this camera trap uh, has a flash that illuminates the scene for the camera to get a picture, but it doesn't shine light on the scene that the animals can see. So what do you think they're actually seeing and doing in this picture? Right, it's four in the morning, so it's really dark right now. So the deer can't see the raccoon. So it probably just didn't want to take its chances and was spooked and decided to run away. Well, I know if I was in the woods and I suddenly heard something in the bushes running towards me really quick, I would run first and ask questions later. Me too, <laughs> absolutely. This deer's being smart. Stephanie, thanks so much for coming. Those are two of the most aggressive raccoons I have ever seen. And thanks everyone for joining us today. And remember, if you're in the state, be sure to go to the North Carolina Cantor Critters website to sign up and join our project, Running a Camera Trap, anywhere in the state. I'm Roland Case. See wildlife, do science.